China's COVID policy is actually our top risk for 2022. 美国智库欧亚集团三日发布二零二二年全球十大风险报告，将中共的清零政策列为头号风险，可能加剧全球供应链中断和通货膨胀压力。A zero COVID policy, and that means that the Chinese government, unlike any other country, will be able to continue to push and push and push despite enormous damage being done domestically and internationally to economic shutdowns. To difficulties and closures in supply chain. 报告直言，面对传播力更强的 Omicron， 中共清零政策将会失败，传染一定会爆发，导致更全面的封城，带来更大的经济困境，打击全球供应链稳定，并加剧通膨恶化。中国人民必须忍受封城、物价上涨等难题，将会引发不满。The Chinese regime is still locking down cities, sealing off doors to businesses and people's homes, and pushing mass testing. Though the stringent measures may dampen consumer confidence and depress spending in 2022. 英国《每日电讯报》分析， Omicron 新变种病毒就算是最极权主义的工具也挡不住，将中共逼入清零的死胡同。任何逼计划都难以出台，因为这等于承认错误。中共甚至不能进口外国疫苗。所以必须是 A 计划。彭博引述高盛分析师报告说，中共将在二月举行冬奥，三月召开全国人大五次会议，下半年召开二十大，预计全年将维持严格的边境管制及入境隔离政策，直到二零二三年春季，将带给原本已经受到房地产市场低迷拖累的经济更大的压力。新航亚太电视，叶恩杰编译。